Let's talk about guerrilla marketing to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornell's mirror and guerrilla marketing. I'm going to read you the definition quickly because I, I love it. Yeah, guerrilla marketing is a disruptive and unconventional approach to marketing that relies on creativity, imagination, and unconventional tactics to promote a product or service. So what the heck is guerrilla marketing? It's been around, geez, for as long as I've been, uh, especially since uh, the internet came into play. It's been very, very popular. But it relies on creativity, innovation, testing, and continually improving, and coming up with unconventional attention-getting ways of sharing your brand, your products, and services. I'm going to share some examples of that. But first, what are the main advantages of guerrilla marketing? And why is it so useful for especially small businesses? I consult and work with a lot of small businesses who don't have a big budget like traditional big corporations in order to share their brand. Think of television advertising, how expensive that is. And it still is, even though uh, there are a lot more outlets nowadays. Think about billboards. I don't know if you know, but billboards cost thousands of dollars a month in order to have people advertise on them. That's why you wonder sometimes how these lawyers can have, you know, a hundred and some billboards in an area. Uh, but it's cost effective. It increases visibility because it tends to be something that gets attention fast that given the internet nowadays can go viral. People will share it on social media. People will take videos of it, especially if it's a disruptive thing like think flash mob. Uh, it enhances your engagement because the tactics that we use in guerrilla marketing are designed to have us as a business or brand interact directly with our customers and our clients, the people that are attracted to our attention getting marketing strategies. Uh, it gives us a competitive advantage in sometimes uh, market segments that are so competitive, it gives us an advantage because we get that attention that we otherwise might not get. So how do you go about coming up with ideas for guerrilla marketing or guerrilla marketing tactics? Uh, number one, I invite everybody today to brainstorm. And as you go about your business and your day to day, look at some conventional things and ask yourself a couple of questions. How could we use this or tweak this or change this or make it even better at a, a level that makes sense for our business? Or how can we put a creative twist on it or an innovative way of sharing it? Sometimes you just share it through a different medium. A lot of tactics and things that you'll see are in one format and then you can do them in another less expensive, more attention getting format. Think for example, I think billboards. In billboard, uh, billboards are really popular for some industries because they have a lot of cash flow and can afford billboards. But other industries use bandit signs. You know, bandit signs are those little signs that stick in the ground and they, they can be put pretty much anywhere. You have to check your local ordinances. I will give the legal notice there because every municipality is different in terms of whether you can or cannot use them and where you can and cannot put them and how close to the road in people's property. You have to ask permission, all these things, depending on where you live. But you can make some really fun, attention-getting, creative bandit signs inexpensively to get the word out about your brand. So that's just one example. But as you go about your day to day, think about different ones that you could use. Uh, viral campaigns. I can think of companies that use viral campaigns. Uh, the Squatty Potty, they, of course they do television and they do video, but they started online and then moved to television. Uh, and they're, they're now a huge business and a huge company. But we can do viral campaigns with social media. We can leverage social media platforms that are, are most of them are free, right? Most of the social media platforms that are the most popular and have the most people on them are free. So you can use them to get your message out by being creative. And anybody with a cell phone can make a video and a creative video and get it edited with free software and put it up and get attention. And that has the opportunity to go viral. Uh, we can actually find local businesses to paint street art for us. There's all kinds of places, no matter how big or how small the community you live in, there are artists and there are people that will do con uh, confetti, that will do graffiti art that could include your brand. Now, keep in mind, if graffiti is illegal in your town and you have an artist paint your brand on there, that might get you some negative publicity. Again, there is a school of thought that all publicity is good publicity for your brand but I would use that one with caution personally. Uh, I've been on both sides of that. It doesn't necessarily feel like negative publicity is good publicity, but I do tend to, to believe that anything that gets your name and your word and your brand out there in front of the people that you want to 
get it in front of uh, is probably a good thing. There's stunt marketing, things like flash mobs. I don't know. They were super popular for a while. I don't, I don't really pay attention anymore, but they're, they would get my attention if I were to, to actually see one in person. It would definitely get my attention. Uh, and I have seen a couple, actually. Uh, seen lots of them online. But a flash mob in a busy city center, captivating your target audience or getting people to video it and share it in social media is an, usually an inexpensive way. And people love to engage and participate in things like that, especially for brands and products and services that they care about or, or that support causes that they care about. And then guerrilla giveaways is another example. Uh, sometimes people will strategically give away samples of their products in weird or unique locations and that garners attention that also gets picked up and can go viral on social media. You notice there's a lot of social media here because why? Social media is a guerrilla marketing tactic because it's virtually free and it's a great way to get out there and test and tweak inexpensively what does and doesn't work, what goes viral, what gets people's attention, what doesn't, etc. So love to know if you and your business have used any guerrilla marketing tactics and strategies. Share in the comments below the lessons that you learned from them. Even if you had one that was, especially I guess, if you had that was a terrible flop or went horribly wrong, share those in the comments below so that we can all learn from them and not make the same mistakes. People are afraid to share when they screw something up or make mistakes, but I think it's one of the most valuable things that we can share. To let people think that we did everything right the first time, number one, we know that they're not being honest and authentic and telling the truth because nobody hardly ever does everything right the first time and it works out exactly the way they want it. And part of the power of good marketing and good uh, customer engagement and good customer service and good customer ex uh, experience comes from the iterations that we do, that we do something, we test it, we try it, we get feedback on it, and then we improve it and we continually improve everything. And that especially includes our marketing efforts and how we communicate with people and get the word out about our brand. All right, that's it. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I challenge you to go about your day and look for ways that you could creatively and innovatively and inexpensively and cost-effectively uh, reach your audience by using some interesting and fun, because it is fun, tactics and strategies. Have a great day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.